Hello, welcome back. Hi, everyone. It's been uh... <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Today we have a, a topic for you guys. It's going to be about the yin yang. Vortex between two flames. It's based on uh, one of the comments uh, that we recently got. Uh, it's something that we discussed um, in previous videos. Uh, more like the the swift uh, between the yin yang energies between two flames but um we would like to go deeper this time into this because there were a few questions on I'm this comment i'm pretty sure there's like um there's no straightforward answer for this because it's a little bit like in my opinion more uh, abstract uh, type of uh, question i have experienced vortex in my life but it only happened after i met you mm -hmm. so i don't know if this is uh, really the answer that this person is gonna search for but whatever i say is gonna also help uh, other people because uh, like i said it's abstract so there's many ways to answer this the question was more like um this person's i'm sorry i i didn't write down the exact comments and the name of the person but he was saying that he is the um divine masculine and his twin flame is the divine feminine and since they got together it's like they went the opposite sides to experience the energies because we both we all have both energies within ourselves right and he feels like that uh, she should enter his uh, shushumna which is um, uh, if you haven't heard about that it's um uh, where the energies of the feminine and the masculine energies uh, let's say they do in this shape within ourselves the back of the yeah. spine um i'm not explaining it very well but the shoshuna is because of to go deep in the yeah theory. it's like the center the center pole between the two energies the divine masculine and the divine feminine mm -hmm. so, which are called Ida and Pingala yeah this is in the Hinduism I believe right yes um, so <clears throat> let's say Shushumna is the center point mm -hmm. um, and we have the two snakes of the feminine and masculine energies and they uh, just twist around each other all the time they meet and they go back <laughs> meet and go back and um, where exactly is the the balance point between two flames i uh, how it works. really like this topic because uh, it made me understand deeper my experience with the vortex because maybe i was seeing the vortex uh, like um, from top to bottom because mm -hmm. i was seeing it like this and it was like catastrophic it, it felt like a, a whole galaxy is gonna is gonna suck me inside of this black hole um it was a black hole now probably or most definitely it was all about this again mm -hmm. the the kundalini uh eden eden pengala and i was just uh, going to complete something mm -hmm. but uh, it was not yet my time because i felt like too strong and we were barely uh, together yes it right? was at the very beginning you experienced it it was uh, bringing you almost the sensations the the feelings of fear yes this was my actually my first video. I don't even know if it's in the English channel. I'm pretty sure it's in my Portuguese channel, actually. Yes, it is. <laughs> I left it sure. there. It was uh, I even made it in English, not Portuguese. Um, and uh, when I was saying in our previous videos about the Kundalini, I'll fix it after all. We were saying the previous videos about the Kundalini that I have less experience with the Kundalini than Petya. I think I'm wrong because I didn't consider the vortex experience mm -hmm. and I think it has to do again with the same thing now I think you even <coughs> had more experience actually every time we were speaking about the other that they were ex uh, more experienced with something we were actually speaking about ourselves I realized that later on as well because in my first videos on the Bulgarian channel now that you're saying on the Portuguese I mentioned somewhere that I was feeling that you were uh, longer in the higher dimensions. But I think it was the other way around. 
and I realized that later on because uh, also as a projector it's difficult to see myself and we had some further experiences afterwards of you seeing yourself in previous lifetimes mm -hmm. um, being maybe it was earth or some other place resembling earth but in a totally different way looking um, is I constantly see myself in the higher realms I also have seen myself down here of course but even when I'm down here in, in other lifetimes I'm all, also doing like air type of work <laughs> <laughs> aerial work aerial work and the same way when you were saying about the kundalini that I have more experience I think it was the whole time you that you have much more experience with her rather than me because probably uh, your connection with kundalini was so deep that you are already taking it as something ordinary yes like something like, like a, material an everyday thing material but uh, if we see it correctly it's not material whatsoever it's just that i'm mm -hmm. more used to it. um exactly yeah the vortex really was a, a big impact in my life and i i now i already surpassed it it turns out that if you don't take care of your body, everything becomes extraordinary and almost impossible to uh, to live with it. You know, it's it's very good for the body and mind and soul all to be taken care of. You cannot just abandon everything. Mm -hmm. This was a big thing. Now, <clears throat> uh, I don't think it has to happen at the same time to both twin flames. Mm -hmm. I think it has to be like this. Um, each one experience in their own time because again what are twin like flames we take turns as well and we take turns yes. and what are twin flames what are we <laughs> <laughs> uh twin flame right so <laughs> we are watching some strange series and they make these sketches yeah. <laughs> so uh we are twin flames so twin flames are not soulmates soulmates experience things together all the time they copy paste each other all the mm -hmm. time twin flames experience things totally the opposite so it's just normal that we are not going to experience at the same time kundalini experiences mm -hmm. i'm going to experience my own time she's going to experience in her own time it's just like this it's the opposite right and it is exactly so. When I had a, a very intense period of experiencing Kundalini, like when she came out of my crown chakra and stuff like this, uh, you were a to totally different uh, vibe at that time. You were all about uh, nutrition, reading yep, deep, I studying was. and Indeed. stuff like this. And we really were opposites. And then it went the other way around and even now um i'm the young part and you're the young part but uh it's more like you are doing more young work in our everyday life right technology now. also counts right? exactly and i'm doing more in work like uh, the garden <laughs> flowers and guess what and i'm like pretty this. sure if i start to do more your stuff and you start to do more my stuff we will swap again yep we will take yeah it's always like this so if yeah just like the how, how the symbol is you know the two snakes go this way oh my god yes it's that's exactly true. so we meet from time to time right we cross but then each one of us has to do something different and it's exactly the opposite so we kind of ourselves and then we come back to ourselves so it's all it's not like a, a stationary process you should not expect that okay i'm the the young side and i should do the the young work between us and that's it no there it's like periods uh that's how nature also works there's periods in everything so at some point you will be doing the young job more between yourself this explains so much we don't need to um, look much further than this. This is the ultimate symbol, the symbol of the pharmacy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. the symbol, of, the symbol of the pharmacy is right. the is the, again the exactly. Shushuna and the Eden Pingala. Mm -hmm. For for other people who don't 
know anything about this, they, they're going to hear Chinese words. So Kundalini... Just go and Google it. You will find a lot of information yes. if you're interested, of course. So Kundalini is this pole with both... The two snakes. The two snakes. <laughs> and that's why they, we they think Kundalini is just one like snake, but it's actually, if we see deeper, that's the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And we are constantly um, separating, meeting, separating, meeting, separating, meeting. At the beginning, it will be proper separation physically. At the end, it will not be proper physical separation. It will be just, uh, I do my thing, you do yours, mm -hmm. but we are still together. <clears throat> but uh, then we come to see each other's work. And then we go and we do something completely different and we come back again. Exactly. And uh, at the beginning it's going to be slower, the movement, because it takes time to get used to it. But the more times you do this pattern, the, the faster it becomes and the more advanced, let's say, it will become everything. Because you will be given different tasks, let's say or lessons or whatever uh, by the Kundalini and your higher self and these are things you, it's like you have to complete them both of you in the completion of the common task so that you can continue going the same pattern on this journey depends on both of you how both of you uh, present themselves into completing each task so that you can work in synchronicity this is through synchronicity actually to form a song between both energies yeah it's like a, make a, a song that sounds good the song comes later we are trying to make lyrics first and melodies <laughs> yeah. melody the one has <laughs> melodies the other has lyrics, the lyrics and we put them and together and then we make a song right we are going to try, we are trying a new thing here, trying to put highlights of uh, each video we are making from from now onwards. Uh, and so that you have a cheat sheet of everything that we are saying, because people might not understand fully what you, we are saying. And this video specifically, you know, is more complicated for the ones who are not aware about the Kundalini. Uh, we're going to try to put this in a cheat sheet, which, which will be only for subscribers. So you need to subscribe. And then um, just follow the link below and it, you will go to our channel trailer in our channel. Okay. And over there, we're going to explain how you can get your, uh, your link, your cheat sheet. Right. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this way as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope this answers the question to some extent. And to add on to this. Taking care of ourselves is uh, the key in order to understand all this. Mm -hmm. And our ebook, we explain everything there. So uh, get our ebook as well. See you soon, guys. See you soon. Ciao.